Hey you guys, this is a Bible that is familiar to my page. It's um, on my channel. It's an old one. Um, I reviewed this Bible about three years ago, and um, it's one of my most viewed uh, uh, videos on my channel. It's got a lot of uh, views on it. It's a very popular Bible, but I don't have it anymore. It was one that I gave away a long, well, actually traded a long time ago, and it was one of those ones where I, I kind of regretted after doing it. Um, so uh, I, I really wanted to get one back because I had heard some news, and um, it is true. When I got this Bible, um, this was given to me by TBS, so it's Trinitarian Bible Society, and they gave me this for review. So I'm very thankful. They are an awesome ministry, and they've always been really, really generous and nice to me about receiving review copies. So thank you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the news is they're making a large print. So I really thought that was cool. I wanted to to re review this again with a better um, quality camera and with um, more knowledge now of Bibles than I had back then. There was a couple comments I made in the video that I just don't agree with anymore, so I want to share that with people. And I, I think this is a really great Bible for the people that are looking for a low-cost Bible. I get a lot of people that come to me and they say, Hey, Eric, I don't have any money hardly. Um, what can I get? Is there a Bible that I can afford that's really good quality? And I, I gotta say, this is one of the best KJV Bibles you can get on the market for the money. It is $56 at Walmart.com right now. Um, other places have it for maybe just a little bit more. EvangelicalBible.com sells it, I believe, for $60. I could be off a little bit. Um, but that's around the price they sell them for. Um, but man, that's amazing, guys. $56 for such a great Bible, and you'll see why here in a minute. I have these Bibles here for a reason. Um, these here is isn't my... Uh, this is R.L. Allen. The other three are Cambridge Bibles. All of these awesome quality Bibles, um, all of us reviewers rave about because they're made by Youngblood um, bindery or um, printers. Uh, they're a printer um, that is like the top printer in the world, and that's where all of these premium companies are sending their Bibles now to get done. So what you're going to see here is a Bible that is literally a Cambridge Bible with Mariva calfskin, the same calfskin that you, you find on the new R.L. Allen long primer, but it's not a leather lined, it's a paste off, but it's no different than a paste off uh, pit minion or a paste off cameo. Um, it's calfskin, it's a beautiful Bible, so let's get into it and I'll show you guys why I love this Bible so much and I think it needs to be shared again. So here is your ISBN number. Uh, I highly recommend if you, if you can't afford a Bible um, that's above, you know, that. $60 price range, get this Bible. It is going to blow your mind. It's beautiful. So here's the back if you want to pause and take a look at what you get with this Bible and what's inside, and then we'll go over it with you. It is uh, 8.5 inches long, 6 inches wide, and 1.3 inches thick. So that way you guys know the size of it. This calfskin is beautiful. I love the way that the text blocks fits loose here. I said that in my last video. Um, it has like a curve right here. So you get a little bit of air in here, a little bit of space. It gives the, the Bible some room. Brush that off. Gives the Bible some room. You know, it just it looks good, but it also has a purpose. It just it's amazing. It's beautiful. It lets the the uh, text open up without pulling too hard on the the signatures, the pages. As you can see, the edge line, look at that. That is beautifully done, guys. There's no glue smearing everywhere, um, stuff like that. It's just a beautifully made Bible. It has a nice strip that goes down through here that keeps it nice and, and snug to the binding here. Open it up to get a few cardstock pages, and then this is something I don't agree with. And when I first reviewed the Bible, I said I didn't like these pages being in here because it adds thickness to the Bible and doesn't make it as flexible. You know, in a way that's kind of true, but in a way, no, this kind of gives the Bible strength. And also, you know, I've moved on to where I see these pages, every single one of these pages, as goodies to write in. So if you're somebody who loves to write notes like my wife does, um, she'll fill these things in with all of her favorite scriptures and timelines and memories. So that's really important to people. And then it's really neat having, you know, verses here that are, are really special and and for their ministry, they want people to know these are special to them. You see the signatures down in there, the uh, Smith's own stitching for the signatures. So you get 
few uh, really good verses here, but this is different. They added a presentation page. That wasn't in the last one I did, so that's good to see. And then you get the one uh, blank Bible page that kind of gets wrinkled because the Bible wants to swallow it sometimes like the uh, Thompson chain. So be aware of that. Some people will put like a, a, a note, a sticky note here, and it actually prevents that from happening. So if that's something that bugs you, try that out and see if it works. Oh, actually, you get two of them. So here is your title page. Very crisp ink. It's a 9.6 font. Um, very nice font. It's a uh, kind of a thin font, but it's very good. It's very uh, crisp and clear. And the new one, the large print, as you can see, it's Netherlands by Youngblood. And the large print's going to be 11 point font from what I'm hearing. And I got that from Randy Brown. Um, he has a Bible design, uh, not Bible design, but a Bible buyer's guide um, blog or like a, a page where he does reviews. So you can go check out his written reviews there. And he also has a channel here. So um, look him up. I'll put his uh, his links in the bottom below once this video posts for you guys. <clears throat> so you can check out his channel. He's been a blessing to me for many years for reviews and for me to be able to find information. As you can see. And this is one of his favorite Bibles, so he knows a lot about the uh, Westminster Bible. It's one of his faves. It has a creamy paper, so you get kind of a yellow hue here down in the gutter. And you, you can't really see it on camera as well until you put like other lighting on it and maybe some other Bibles next to it. So I'll show you guys here in a bit. You get the translators to the reader, which is really important to me. And it's important to Trinitarian Bible Society. They believe that the King James is the best English text. Now, they're not a King James-only um, ministry that is very aggressive about it. Um, they will debate people about the issue, and they just believe that the best um, textual um, manuscripts that we have come from this line. So I appreciate that. You get the notes on the side from the translators. From the translators and in the translators to the reader, which is not in other Bibles, which is really cool. I like that. Very good quality paper, guys. It feels like you're literally, this is a Cambridge Bible. I mean, look how that lays. You get nice gold gild. You get four ribbons. They double stack the ribbons, though. They do black and black and, and red and red on top of each other, but they're evenly spaced. So let me zoom in so you see that. These are the thinner ribbons that Cambridge uses in some of their Bibles, like the Clarion. Um, they're very thin, but honestly, I like them. I was telling my wife, these don't get in the way. Like when I have the Bible on my lap, I don't have these thick ribbons getting in the way. And I, when I turn the pages, it's very easy to turn with them there, and they don't get all bunched up. So that is something that I do like. You have various charts through this. Um, teaches you about the, the Westminster Bible. And get to the title page here. And you'll see the text. Now you get a two column text, very, very clean text, guys. Look at that. It's just a beautiful line match text. So you don't get a bunch of ghosting. It's nice and clear. You get um, word uh, italic words that um, weren't in the original manuscripts to give better definitions. You get archaic word um, definitions to the side. Um, not every archaic word I've noticed, but you do get some. So it's very nice to have that for people that have a hard time with the King James translation. You get a description of each um, uh, par uh, paragraph, but, um, chapter as you lead in. It kind of tells you what's going on in that chapter. And 200,000 references, guys. Is that crazy or what? Now the box used to say 80,000, which was a, a, a misprint, but now the box says 200,000. So you can see it doesn't have a very deep gutter, which I really like. So you got no words that are going way down in the gutter or anything like that. Nice and clear. You get a space between the double column instead of like the Thompson chain where this is literally next to each other, which can kind of mess with your eyes when you're reading after a long period of time. And I'll show you the Thompson chain here, here real quick. Let's grab the Thompson and I'll show you how the ghosting affects your reading. So as you can see, you get kind of a, you can see from a distance with a ghosting, you get kind of a five o'clock shadow because there's no line matching going on. Um, and then when you have that line that's not in the center, 
it kind of messes with your eyes as your eyes get tired when you're reading the text. Some pages will be a little bit worse than others, but then when you get down to here, look how much more clear it is to read. So as you come down from the Thompson Chain KJV, which has got basically the same layout, same size font, but here it's just a completely different style. So much more easier to read. It reminds me of the turquoise because you get such a good spacing between the words, so it's very easy to read. Um, I like the ribbons, I do. I, I like the color, I like that they're thin. They don't bother me at all. They just have a unique character about them. Um, I changed them when I first had this Bible, put in yellow, but I ain't gonna change these ones, I like them. So let's jump over. You don't get um, the words of Christ in red. This is all black text, so woohoo for you guys that love black text because this Bible is an awesome Bible. You don't have to worry about the red fading out on you and stuff like that. I love my red text, especially my new turquoise. That thing is awesome because Cambridge does it right. But as you can see, it just it's equal throughout the whole text. This is one Bible that you won't see fading in. It is literally the same level of ink all the way through. Um, you won't find that with a lot of Bibles, even premium, um, bigger brand, the Cambridge Bibles, sometimes will fade on you. So you don't really see that with this Bible. It's literally even all the way throughout. So you get to the back, you get um, weights and measures. You get a few charts on the weights and measures throughout the Bible, so you can figure out what that means from the King James time to now. A list of uh, words and proper names and pronunciation. That goes on for quite a while. And then you get to the concordance, which is about 120 pages long, roughly around that. It's pretty good, guys. It's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty thick concordance there. So let's jump back here. And once you get to the back, you have 15 blank Bible pages. So you get 15 of these blank Bible paper pages for notes, which is really cool. It's not notebook paper, but, you know, it's good It's good quality paper. It's the same paper they use through the Bible, and it's not going to get a lot of bleeding. It, it, it works really good with pens. And as you can see, these are our exclusive maps for the Westminster Bible. So you won't find these maps in any other Bible, far as I know. They were made specifically for the Westminster. And some people don't like them. They think they're kind of cartoony, but me, I like them. I think they're nice. They have a neat color to them. They're very easy to read. You know, and considering that this Bible can be bought at $56, um, I ain't complaining one bit. That's my favorite map they have in this one. Looks really neat. I like it has a storm there. Very neat. And then you get your card stocks in the back here. And as you can see, they get a nice cornering all the way around. I mean, it's just beautiful, guys. This calfskin, as it's kind of squeaky. You hear that? I love that. Just like the Cambridge cameo I have you know, here. It's got that just quality premium kind of squeak to the leather. Um, as this gets older, you'll start to get these like wrinkles and the grain will start, see that? The grain will start to pop out on you. That is, it's really thick leather, guys. It's very nice. Believe me, that's not air pockets. That's, that's the grain in the leather as you bend it. It's very thick. So yeah, it gets really pretty with age. And um, yeah, it's just a very nice binding. Look at that. Nice and loose. Flexible premium Bible for $55, $56. Um, there are places that sell it for $80. Um, so shop around, guys. You, you can find this Bible for a great deal online, on eBay, all around. So check it out. It, it's a wonderful Bible. And, and for those people that are having a hard time finding a good Bible for a good price, um, this is it for you guys. Save up and get it. You know, I have a lot of people asking for Bibles lately, and I can't give everybody Bibles. I just don't have them. I, I share when I can. When the Lord leads, I give them. And so for those people that, that tell me they don't have enough bu uh, money for a Bible, you know what? I live on a very low income. I, I, I can hardly afford to get through the month, but I can afford to buy one of these Bibles. Um, it's not that hard. You just got to, you got to, you know, plan your money out and say, hey, what I need to spend money on this month, save some money up, you know, 20 bucks one month. 20 bucks, 30 bucks the next, boom, you got your Bible. So just save up, guys. It's, it's, it's not hard to do. Just just do it, you know. And um, you'll love this Bible, believe me. It's very, very nice. So I want to thank TBS again for sending it out. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'll show you a footprint real quick. That's the Cameo Pit Minion. So it's kind of like, it's not a hand size, but it's just over. And it's about the same size as the, the uh 
Church Bible Publishers Cameo Wide Margin. I think it's a great size Bible. I love it. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. And uh, like I said, any questions, just let me know, and I'll answer them down in the comments when I can. So, love everybody. Take it easy. Bye-bye.